This was a jewellery display case in a boutique. And when the boutique closed down, they were checking these out. And it's got some lovely joinery in it. So I thought I would grab a couple of these when they were throwing them out and make toolboxes out of them. It's actually too big to put in the back of my ute. So I'm thinking of chopping the peak off. Take out this glass, chop the peak off, put a flat top on it. And I've got two of these, so I'm going to try with this one first and then do the other one. But I think I will chop the top off. I've got the idea in my head as usual, but I'm going to make it up as I go along sort of the things. So I've got to chop this top off. Let's do that. So yesterday when I packed up, I had cut the top off a jewellery display case that I got from a boutique and I had made one drawer uh, and so I'm quite pleased with the progress so far. So I will, today I think I will crack on and make the second drawer. Problem is the piece of chipboard that I was going to use, which I which is the brother of the one that I used in the first drawer is uh, damaged it's split right down the middle uh, halfway so I might skip on that and use that piece of plywood over there that's actually the top of a wide pallet I picked up at a factory um, so yeah uh, the theme of what I'm trying to do today is well I'm trying to make a tool chest, but I'm making it all from bits of scrap wood that I have around the place or bits of wood that haven't cost me anything.
this piece of wood here, this came out of a old office desk that got, I don't know, damp or whatever, and the chipboard, chipboard started pulling apart. So this is one side of a drawer runner, runner for these drawers. Uh, the other side, unfortunately, I have chopped up to use the wood for something else. So what I'm gonna do is cut this up, put it in there. I'm gonna have two of these drawers just there. So I don't need three sliders. I'm gonna cut that piece of wood up fit it in there and do a matching piece over here with a different type of oh actually i kept the sliders so i can still use them and a caveat on those drawers is that they're too deep to actually fit in there but that's okay because they're under the overhang i don't mind so when you went looking i shaped this with the band saw to fit into this corner. And that works nice. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I'm up to about uh, not 25 dollars no be 35 dollars good good solid bench for 35 dollars <laughs> 